Welcome to chapter 4, Software. In this chapter, we will explore the different types of software, for example, system software which manages the hardware and application software which help us help perform tasks. We will also learn about programming languages and how they let us communicate with the computers. Lastly, we will look at the tools like compilers, interpreters, and IDEs that help, that help turn code into working program. So let's begin our journey into the world of software. Four point one types of software. Introduction to software. Definition. Software is a series of instructions that tell the computer what to do, created using the programming languages. Computer needs software to allow the user to do something useful. Uh, you will use software each time you use a computer, whether it's a PC, laptop, tablet, or mobile phone. Types of software. Software can be put into different categories depending on their purpose and use. So we can divide the software into two main categories. First one we can call them the system software and second one is the application software. System software manages the running of hardware while the application software run on top of the system software. System software. System software is a variety of programs and processes that a computer needs in order to function. System software manages the running of hardware and other software and allow communication between the, these components. So we can divide the system software into two categories. First one is called operating system and second one is the utility program. Operating system examples include the Windows, uh, Android and iOS, while the utility program include the disk defragmentation software, disk cleanup, antivirus software, etc. Well, now let's talk about the application software. Application software allows users to perform a task. It provides the services for the user, for example, writing a document or editing an image. Application software have generic name as well as brand names. It is important that you know the generic name, also the brand names. So here you can see we have different softwares. For example, we have image editing software, uh, Photoshop and Meitu. Both are used to edit the images. Then we have web browsers, for example, Safari and Chrome. Both are used to navigate the web. And then we have the word processor, for example, WPS and Word, and both are used to write the documents. So uh, to identify the, the generic name, we can see the image editing, web browser, and the word processor. These are the generic name for the software. Okay. Then we have the brand names, for example, Meitu, Photoshop, Safari, Chrome, WPS, Word, etc. These are the brand names. Okay, so now let's discuss the different types of application software. So the first type is called the word processor. So these type of software allow the users to create written documents. Examples include the Microsoft Word, WPS, and uh, Pages, Apple Pages, okay? Next type of software is called the spreadsheet, and these type of software allow the users to perform calculation on the data. Example include Microsoft Excel, Numbers, and Spreadsheet. Then we have the database software. So these type of software allow the users to store and search a set of data. Example include Microsoft Access, uh, SQL, and MongoDB, etc. Then we have the web browsers. So these type of software allow the user to view and navigate the websites. So example include the Safari, Chrome, Firefox, etc. Okay, so now let's overview the application software and the system software. So application software, we have four types. We have word processors, spreadsheet, web browser, and database. Then uh, system software, we have two types. First one is called the utility software and second one is called the operating system. And you can see the examples here in this picture. You can pause the video and see the examples. Okay, so now let's discuss the application software running sequence. The application software cannot run on a computer without an operating system. The operating system cannot run unless there are instructions given to it, and these are provided by the firmware. The firmware cannot run unless it, unless it is told to run, and this is done using the bootstrap program. The bootstrap program is loaded when the computer is first turned on. Okay, so when you turn on the computer, okay, you press the turn on button from uh, on, on your computer. It first loaded a bootstrap program. The bootstrap program then load, loads the firmware. And when the firmware is running, it loads the operating system. So when the operating system is running on top of operating system, you can run different applications. For example, if you want to run Photoshop or Word or any other software, you can run on top of the operating system. Okay, so now let's recap everything. So uh, we have software. And there are two types of software. First one is called the system software and second one is called the application software. System software has two types, utility program and operating system. 
Utility program example includes a disk cleanup, disk compression, encryption software, disk defragmentation, and antivirus software. While the operating system includes the Windows, Android, iOS, Linux, Unix, etc. Now let's talk about the application software. So the application software has uh, the first type of is called the word processor, and these software allow us to write some documents. So example include Microsoft Word, WPS, and Pages. And then we have the spreadsheet. Uh, example include the Excel, Numbers, and uh, WPS spreadsheet. And then we have the web browser. Example include the uh, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. And next, and then the last one is the database software. And the example include uh, Microsoft Access, SQL, and MongoDB, etc.